At this point, we have changes. We've committed the changes to our local code repository, but we want to share those changes so that somebody else can pick up those changes. To do that, what we need to do is called push to the server. And it's really fairly easy to do. I'm just going to right click on the folder that has the repository, and I'm going to select HG Workbench. Once I select Workbench, the Workbench pops up, and you can see here, in this particular case, I've got several different commits that have happened. Each one of those comments are listed right up here underneath the description. And we're, I'll talk about later different branches that have occurred and where the, I am right now in this whole version history. I could easily go back to any one of these prior versions, take a look at what happened, or change my code to those prior versions. But what I want to do right now is I want to take these changes and move them up to the server. And to do that, there's an icon right here push outgoing changes to the selected URL. So I'm going to go ahead and click push the outgoing changes. It's going to confirm that that's what I want to do, and I'm going to click yes. Next thing it's going to do is ask for your username and password. you got to type that in. And now it's pushing the changes to the server, and then it tells me the push has been completed. That's all there is to it. At this point, anybody can get those changes, and I can tell, in case I'm working with the class, I can tell the instructor that I've completed that particular lab, lab six, and he or she can go ahead and pick up those changes.